Alternative drama first arrived on the soil of the United States in 1975, exclusively for overseas Korean communities in an entry port city, Los Angeles, and began circulating through two Korean diaspora's media outlets, Korean language TV broadcast, and video rental services in Koreatown. In major metropolitan cities such as Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, and Atlanta. This well-maintained two-channel system has significantly um, decreased in the new millennium as consumption patterns of Korean TV drama in the United States are rapidly transforming toward the satellite TV services, video streaming website, and online-based fan communities whose ethnic identity is not necessarily Korean. Numerous illegitimated web services and communities have provided, uh, shared, and disseminated Korean TV dramas along with K-pop to the mainstream users, viewers in the United States for the last several years. This study aims to historicize and analyze the distributions, circulations, and receptions of Korean TV dramas in the United States, from diaspora TV to the mainstream media market in the age of social media. It's not clear exactly when Korean TV drama had finally departed from the Korean diaspora's ghetto and began penetrating into the mainstream US media market but the most important turning point was the founding of the California-based YA Entertainment, the first and biggest official Im importer and distributor of Korean TV dramas in the United States. YA Entertainment began manufacturing and distributing Korean TV drama DVDs in 2003. But who were the target consumers? Tom Lawson, president of YA Entertainment, answered, we have, quote, we have conducted multiple surveys over the past five years, surveying thousands of Korean TV drama fans in the United States. Interestingly, only 5% of respondents describe themselves as Korean. Therefore, roughly 95% of the people uh, purchasing our Korean TV dramas DVDs are not of Korean descent. The majorities are Caucasian, Japanese American, Chinese American, and Filipino American, and we are also finding strong growth in the Vietnamese American and Latino Hispanic communities. In 2004, YA Entertainment successfully um, provided its DVD box set uh, to Borders, Best Buy, and Barnes and & Nobles, as well as online shopping malls, uh, Amazon.com and YesAsia.com. Yes Lassen expressed, quote, translating and subtitling are the most important part of the production process. If the package and the drama are great, but English subtitles are terrible, people will feel likely they have wasted their money. We focus on producing high quality subtitles geared for native English speakers. Okay, dramapeople.com is the first, uh, uh, first, first legal uh, legitimated um, uh, video streaming website in the Korean video, Korean TV drama streaming website in the United States. Uh, began, uh, initiated in, in New York City in 2009. Uh, dramapeople.com opened with a beta version in January 2009, and it was August when the website was fully operational. Sung Bak and, and, and Sok Park, the founder of the, of the JournalPeople.com, had maintained good relationship with um, uh, the fan serving uh, communities in Southeast Asia. And as soon as JournalPeople.com was officially launched, these uh, voluntary uh, translators have been helping the company uh, spend less on the subtitles. Subtitlings. In February 2009, only one month after its official launch, DramaFever.com reached 200,000 unique users visiting the website. However, the real surprise was not in the number of unique users. It was the users' demographics that made the business even more promising.